Hey guys, this is X666X Iron Maiden, and we are back again with some more Keldian. This is Sundancer. Alrighty guys, back with more Keldian, which uh, we've checked out a few times now. We've checked out Change the World, um, and uh, I wish I could remember the other ones, but I can't. I can't. I'm just, my memory is always so shitty for this guy, so I don't know why. Uh, I remember all I remember is that it was the first one we did was off uh, um, Darkness and Light. Uh, but anyway, we're going to forget about my shitty memory for a minute and uh, just remember how awesome this band was. Uh, when I saw the Change the World video, it really, like, really got my attention to how cool this band really is. And uh, it, it it opened my uh, it opened my eyes a little bit to uh, how the new newer power metal bands are doing, especially the ones that you know are branching off and adding other uh, styles into it. For instance, this this one's guys went sci-fi oriented, so there's some electronic parts to it, and it's really cool. And I, I lo I've always loved the sci-fi element to any metal song. Uh, so without further ado, let's check out some Keldian again. Nice touch having second vocalist. And a violin. That's cool. Sun dancer! 
This band's a good sing along one too with their choruses. Violin solo? No, maybe not. That was Sundancer by Keldian. That's uh, something a little different going back uh, to their Heaven's Gate album. I can't remember. I can't remember if we already listened to a song off his album. I feel like this might have been the one that the first song was to was on. Was that was that it? Uh, it might have been. Anyway, um, yeah, with this band, it. Even, even just going back, this is obviously further back than uh, Change the World. Uh, Change the World came out a little bit to, uh, closer to now than this one did. It, it, it looks like it's a. Uh, they really like advanced their sound since uh, the uh, uh, this album. Um, yeah, we did. Uh, it was Life and Death Under Strange New Suns. That was the first one we did about a month ago. Um, I feel yeah. I feel like I've I've heard like the whole progression of the band at this point already, because um, it seems like, and uh, if I look it up right quick, I doubt they have a, a Wikipedia page, mind you. But uh, I know they did. It says here they did put out. Oh, maybe they actually they, their album is their album is on uh, on there anyway. Yeah. So change the world, and life and death under the stranger's sun. So hearing that album. And then comparing it to uh, uh, to uh, the other one, which is Heaven's Gate, that's that's ten years difference, and you can hear you can hear the difference. They didn't have uh, it, it didn't sound like the production quality is obviously a little bit less. They didn't have probably all the tools they have available to them now when they started, and uh, still awesome either way though. It's just awesome in a different way. At, at first, this is when the song started. I was like, oh, I hope it. I was hoping it was going to get you know show more, and then luckily it did. You know, violin adding in the female vocalist and all that was really cool. Uh, I was hoping it wasn't going to be you know just flat out power metal because I, I I like to see the I like to right from the beginning I like to know that they're they're already experimenting with their sound, and they they really were. And now we're up to their album Darkness and Light that just came out this year. Well, I guess this year's almost over now. Uh, it just came out in October, and it's such a it's such a sweet album just from the two songs I've heard, and I I think that album will probably end up being my favorite by them uh, as I listen to it more and eventually get the album. I, I know it will be just from those two songs because it, it that's the one so far that's caught me the most is those songs from that album, and I, I would like to check out that album more unless unless you guys think that I should be checking out maybe one of the other ones. Um, but I, I'm definitely telling you that the, the two songs from Darkness and Light so far has been the standout two songs, and that that there has been my... Uh, this is more like the sound I, I'm preferring out of it so far. Uh, and uh, just before we finish the video, I forgot to say at the start, um, Christmas is coming. On Christmas Day, I plan on having uh, a few special things uh, going on, just as a little Christmas gift to you guys. Um, so don't forget to check out on Christmas Day if you have time. I know everyone's busy with family and stuff like that, but uh, if not, you'll catch it the next day. It's fine. Because um, I'm going to be home by myself that day. My uh, little fiancé has to work. Works in a nursing home, so uh, she has to make sure they get fed still. So she'll be gone, so I'll be doing a few just little extra things than, I, than what I normally do uh, just to uh, give you guys a little... Christmas gift. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already, so you'll catch more videos from me. And as always, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you later.